lash serum that I use, this is what happens. I am genuinely like confused at this point that what kind of lash serum am I supposed to use for it to not to do this? And this is only one time use. Not good. But anyway, good morning everyone. Um, your girl is a little bit delicate this morning because she has been having one too many espresso martinis pretty much. I'm um, going in with my um, Embrolis, am I saying that correctly? <laughs> um, moisturizer. If anything comes out of it, that would be lovely. I guess oh, this is the end of it. Oh, just the last tad bit is coming out okay now this is the end of it so let me grab another moisturizer <laughs> CeraVe moisturizer it is I really really like this moisturizer oh my god my face is really sensitive today as soon as I touch it it goes really really red um, which by the way I am breaking out and I haven't had a breakout in a very very long time like here all of my cheek um, I don't know what product it is. I think there are two products that I have um, changed recently. Not recently, for the past like month. So one is the Charlotte Tilbury primer with SPF. And the second one is the Milani setting spray. I like them both. But I think one of them is breaking me out. So I stopped using both of them so my, so my skin can go back to normal. And then I'll use them individually and see which one it is that is breaking me out um, but i'm just gonna get ready for today something very very simple honestly don't feel like putting on any makeup on but i want to do something like just a tad bit to have something on um, and i also have a new product to try out with you guys these are the smashbox halo um sheer to stay color tint for lip and cheek um they sent me beautiful colors um sunset blush visteria and terracotta um beautiful colors oh let me hold them the other way around so you guys can actually read them um so these are the color series that they sent for me and i think i'm gonna go in with either sunset or visteria today um Oh yeah, exciting products. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer first. I don't wanna use my hands, but this product works better with hands. So we're not gonna use hands today because it's just... I don't know, I feel like especially when my face is breaking out, I don't like to use my hands at all. Um, because obviously our hands are not the cleanest. I mean, I just washed my hands, but still just overall don't like to use my hands when i'm doing my makeup so yeah i was telling you guys about my very very busy and social and full of es espresso martini weekend um i can't drink anymore i don't know what it is this has happened to me in the past like month month and a half to be fair i have not been sleeping well because um, my brain tabs are all open at the same time I have so many projects going on which is all exciting and I'm very very excited I'm not complaining this is not me nagging um, but when I am very very excited about anything um, I lose sleep like I can't sleep pretty much because like I want to do all of those projects I pretty much have zero patience so um, that's why I'm not able to sleep and then I have been going out a lot I try to do dry January I mean we're in February now but like I tried to do dry, dry January except wine that didn't happen I just like going out and socializing and having my, my espresso martini I just love 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 it I have never been a vodka person but espresso martinis are where it's at um, even one glass when i tell you guys i've been drinking i don't mean like i've been drinking like 10 um like glasses of it like one or max two i can't even handle that i become very very delicate and dehydrated last night i had the worst dreams i was talking to my cousin i was like i had the weirdest dream like not only weird like disturbing and my cousin was like did you have alcohol i'm like just a glass like just skip it 
just to skip it you'll sleep better so i'm gonna try to limit myself <laughs> so um yeah just i don't know what it is but alcohol is not getting along with my body whatsoever currently i mean at the moment that i'm drinking i'm having the best time of my life because i truly enjoy my espresso martini um and pretty much that's the only drink that i drink i can't do shots at all oh my god just no my cousins were over and they were taking shots i was like no absolutely not and i was like a couple of years ago i was a shot girl like tequila shot was my vibe um anyway i don't know how we started talking about my um drinking but basically i'm just keeping you guys updated because we talk about everything together i just went in by the way with my dior concealer trying to cover this redness that i have um but yeah because we talk about everything and i'm gonna be very very tired today so i just want you guys to know that all is good <laughs> it's just your girl is tired um, I have a lot of projects that I need to work on today, um, mostly attached to my computer. And then, what am I gonna do? That's it pretty much. Oh, big project, another big project that I've been putting off for a long period of time. You guys know I'm a very much of a jewelry girl and I love my jewelry, but my jewelry drawer and like just organization of my jewelry is disaster at this moment in time i can't find anything no earring has any kind of uh back attached to it a few days ago i was changing my ear stack and i realized how bad my um uh, earring drawer is i have a breakout here like what is going on i really don't know but we'll figure it out it's going towards better the biggest one was this one that is pretty much gone um just scar is left and my skin holds on to the scar for dear life i'm gonna go in with this becca brightening cream as well don't do what i'm doing don't go in directly with your used um what do you call it used beauty blender because bacteria but couldn't be bothered couldn't be bothered i really really like this product especially on top of my concealer people use it underneath the concealer but like on top of the concealer it just works so much better see what a brightening effect it had oh i was out with my friend colette a few days ago she was wearing her under eye was so bright and beautiful i asked her what she was using she said she's using the el maquillage concealer um the only way to get it is online but they guarantee shade match so in case it's not your shade you can return it for free and exchange it for the color that you think will work for you so i think i want to put an order for that because her under eyes goals literally i'm gonna go in with my eyebrow gel I'm not filling them in it's just a brush kind of a situation oh, but i got it on my eyelid um so yeah we're gonna do a um, jewelry organization i know i'm top i'm like jumping from one topic to another topic um yeah we're gonna do a little bit of jewelry organization i want to clean them out get rid of the jewelry that are like tarnished or like i no longer use just make it a little bit more organized because i can't find anything um and then i have another project as i mentioned like a few other projects that i need to work on uh pretty much it will be a day attached to my computer oh i was gonna tell you guys a story that happened to me yesterday uh at target i was at target and then i was in the skincare aisle and this like i'm scared i'm still scared of using this if you guys can't tell so like i have to focus when i'm using it to not pinch my eye i don't even leave it on for that long i see people holding there like moving it around i'm like absolutely not the five second that i do is a lot for me but anyway yesterday i was at target i was in the skincare aisle and there was this lady i would say like late 40s maybe early 50s and she was asking me about um she asked me a question about skincare product 
um, I was holding like a couple of my skincare products like the serum and moisturizer and stuff and she asked me a question about them she's like oh did you do you like it and stuff I started talking about skincare obviously we all know how passionate I am about skincare and then she was like oh you know a lot about skincare are you like an esthetician or something I was like no I just really I'm invested in skincare and I like educate myself a lot on it and then she was like oh how old are you and I'm like 33 this woman literally looked me like this up and down and she was like you look really good for your age I was speechless speechless I am usually good at responding back to people especially when they're rude and they're rude to my face and at that moment I mean, I'm not going to be rude to them, but I will respond to a comment that they made. Because, no, you don't get to walk around and, like, disrespect people like that. Absolutely not. I can take it. Trust me, I have thick skin. But the reason that I will correct you is because you might do that to someone who doesn't have as much of a thick skin as I have. And you might ruin their day or, like, hurt them emotionally. And... I will correct you because that's just not a right thing to do um, when I tell you guys I was so speechless it just happened so quickly she was she was a very very sweet lady so like until that point I don't know if she was trying to give me a compliment that was her way of complimenting like no woman we don't compliment like that absolutely not it's just was so uncalled for basically um one thing i can't stand is backhanded compliment what's the point in that honestly i'm gonna use my foundation brush for my bronzer it's a charlotte tabri one only because i don't want to get another brush dirty so we're just gonna go with this oh it actually applies it really really nicely a little bit too overboard for regular programming i really really like this bronzer from charlotte over it's really really good this is in a shade two medium m o y e n moin moin i'm not sure who names this stuff it's a question that i have um anyway I was so shocked I didn't respond to this lady and I when I when she left because she just looked at me looking at her and then the conversation awkwardly was interrupted and she left literally like that no thank you no bye nothing I was just looking at her like I've seen a ghost pretty much and she just left how dare you how dare you when I sat in my car I was like oh wow like did she actually said that and yeah she did anyway that was an incident i was like i'm 33 i'm not 83 like why would you say that anyway um so now i am gonna go in with this one i think i want to try this one um wisteria and see how this looks on my cheeks here is the packaging i really hope it is not going to be a product that will pick up on my um i don't know how much am i supposed to use so we're gonna go with the light hand i really hope it's a product that is not gonna pick my foundation up but this looks very pigmented it looks darker oh wow this is pigmented oh but it blends it is sheer it came off so pigmented but it is not pigmented at all when you apply it i mean it says sheer on it oh my god it disappeared okay we're gonna apply a little bit more i mean when i say apply a little bit more like this is how much i mean like not too much basically and the beauty blender is picking up product to be fair so maybe brush would have been better for this product i actually really really like it it has a very subtle flush of color and it didn't pick up on my tinted moisturizer let's apply it to the lips i'm gonna go for the lips directly maybe i 
it has a wash of color i mean i didn't use any lip liner or anything this is just a color on its own and i really really like it it's perfect for like no makeup days it's super hydrating like my lips are going through it they're very very dry um, but it is super hydrating. I really really like this product. I can't wait to try other colors I'm not gonna do anything to my hair. I basically curled it yesterday and That is it just brushed it this morning I can't wait for Anya to come back for her to do my hair like no I Regret not going before she um, left uh, For Thailand I had an appointment and I was like my hair is really broken Let me just nourish it a little bit, but now I'm regretting it. So as soon as she comes back um, we are doing my highlight because it's just not a vibe um, But yeah, here is my makeup done. I actually really like how it came out. It's just super easy fresh I feel like the days that even if I'm home, I have a little bit of something on uh, I mean, this is not a little bit. This is like a full face of makeup But like it's not foundation or powder or anything. It's just little bits and bobs. How many products did I use? Tinted moisturizer, concealer, blush, bronzer, mascara, eyebrow gel, and under eye corrector. Seven products. I mean, that's a lot, but at the same time, I feel like the days that I have a little bit of something on, um, it's just I'm being more productive. I'm pretty sure it's like a brain thing, um, but it's just I get more things done. Now I'm going to clean up this mess that I created, and then we will get into my jewelry drawer and like try to organize it because. It is giving me anxiety to be honest with you guys. I am sure I've talked about this um, jewelry organizer many, many times, but if I have not, um, it is absolutely amazing. Like it's a game changer. You can just stack them on top of each other or the way that I have it is basically my drawer like next to each other, uh, but you can stack them on top of each other and obviously it comes with like different compartments um, and then like it's not gonna, if you stack them on top of each other, it's not going to take up so much space and it has a lead as well. I absolutely love 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 it but i have to empty all of this out now vacuum it like clean it it's very dusty and it is not aesthetically pleasing basically and organize it to the best of my ability in the middle of um organizing but i'm feeling really 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 hungry um this morning i didn't have appetite to eat so i didn't even make my smoothie but i'm feeling really nauseous and hungry so i'm just gonna make my smoothie that i always make so i can sip on it while i am organizing um it is taking longer than expected like it is taking a little bit too long um so it's like you know what it is it's the small earrings the little studs um, and if you're being very very honest I have real gold ones and I have like the Amazon ones that I got and I can't tell the difference they're very very small um, so I can't even read I know the real gold has like the number on it they're so small that I can't even read like these little studs and stupidly I mixed all of them together how how do you mix an Amazon one with real gold so now I'm having a hard time, especially the backs of them, because I didn't put them back correctly. I just put it in the cube things. Um, even if I can separate the earring from like the gold versus um, the Amazon one, I can't figure out the back of them. I, can, I don't know which one is actual gold and which one is um, not. And the thing is that some of my Amazon earrings, I have never used them. So they're very, very clean and new. You know when after a while, obviously when they're not real gold, if you use them for a while, they change a little bit of color so you can tell. Um, so some of them I have never used. So I'm having a struggle of choosing those and I don't want to keep both just in case one of them is gold. I want to be able to determine which one is actual gold, which one is not. So I can just separate them and get rid of all the Amazon ones. I am trying to keep only earrings that i know la will last me longer um so yeah that's the struggle i'm having but anyway i'm really really hungry so i'm just gonna make myself my smoothie um because i'm starving and i'm really nauseous i need to eat something to be able to continue <laughs> The 
there is nothing that I hate more than chunky powder so I add hot water to my um, powders I usually do this in a solid shaker but we established that I can't be bothered today um, so I just basically add hot water and melt the powders first and then add my ice and frozen mango or like frozen banana frozen berries whatever I have but I prefer banana and mango because they're sweeter so when it is almost melted um, then I add the frozen bits because oh my god the taste of chunky powder in your mouth like not blended one oh absolutely not I pretty much wore them only once I think they changed color even though they were expensive I got them off of revolve but they changed color and I just don't use them and they shape is weird so I will get rid of this one as well this is another pair that I'm getting rid of just generally speaking anything that has this in the front i just don't like the look of it it just looks chunky and cheap um so any earring that has this clasp thing in the front i am getting rid of i found a silver jewelry i need to go to jail for this like that's how illegal it is for me to have a silver jewelry got rid of so much product i can't even tell you guys literally cleared out my entire um jewelry thing uh by the way these are only my small um earrings and jewelry um i have the big earrings and like big pieces like big bracelets and stuff in my hanging thing you know the hangers that have pocket that's a story for another day we're not gonna go through that today but this one is looking so much better i got rid of so much i have space for new pieces um and yeah it is looking so much better this might not look organized but i promise you guys it is very very organized i dusted everything i got rid of so many necklaces that i wasn't using or they were tarnished and now i just organized them in a way that it makes sense to me and i'm able to find them easier so here is how the necklace watch and the uh, bracelet and anklet tower is looking I am heading out to dinner. I know I said it's going to be a chill day, but I am going out to dinner and it's going to be a little bit of a fancier dinner. And I'm going to be wearing this dress that I got from um, ASOS. I absolutely love it. I talked about it in my previous ASOS haul. I am literally obsessed with it. It is a little bit tight on me on the waist area, but I really, really like it. It's sexy, classy, chic, and I am obsessed with the fabric of it. I think it is still available. I'm going to link it for you guys, but just so you guys know i would say size up in it um, because the waist um, area is a little bit tight and the fabric um, does not have any kind of stretch to it um, but it is a beautiful beautiful dress that i'm going to be wearing i'm gonna pair it with uh, my gold shoes and my gold bag and probably have like sleek hair kind of a situation because can't be bothered to do my hair if I get a chance, I'll try to go and do a photo shoot or do a um, Instagram Reels get ready with me. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this and I'm going to start, I'm going to make myself a coffee and then I'm going to start getting ready for dinner so I can have time um, to record the Reels and also um, take a picture, hopefully. morning everyone i am feeling so much better compared to yesterday i feel like yesterday i was a zombie walking around that's how tired i was um i was looking back at the footage my eyes were so red uh, just unbelievable and i don't know why i didn't think of using like an eye drop or something until night time um went to dinner came back home and then while i was doing my half-assed skincare to be very very honest i basically just like washed my face i didn't even double cleanse that's how tired i was um so yeah i was doing my skincare and then i was like why am i not putting eye drop in my eyes because like my eyes are itchy i was so tired and my eyes were so dry that they were itchy like every like literally five minutes i had to hold my eye like this because it was just like that it, like it would hurt 
anyway feeling so much better after dinner i came back home did my skincare and slept uh pretty much like 11 hours and this morning i'm feeling like a new woman i went on my walk came back showered i was gonna wash my hair to be honest with you guys because i don't have to leave the house today i was like today's a great day to wash my hair but i forgot to do my pre-wash oil treatment so we're gonna wash tomorrow or maybe like midday i'll put in my um hair oil and i'll wash my hair at night what i have been doing is going through my favorite jewelry stores and looking through rings so i do have plenty necklaces i do have plenty of earrings like i don't feel like i need more but when it comes to rings i feel like i need more because i organized it yesterday with you guys but then afterwards again and again i went over it and i got rid of a few more as well um so because this this was the thing some of them were totally fine but they're big on me obviously i have changed sizes throughout like this past two to three years and i have very small fingers like people are surprised like when i tell them like my ring size um so yeah they were big on me so i just thought i uh will give them to my friends and family that they have like their that's their ring size so i got rid of more now i am left with only this ones like literally this is all the ear like rings that i have this has changed color already um this is not gold it was um gold plated if i'm not mistaken and it has been through it like i wore it uh for since last december like a year ago uh until now non-stop in water in ocean like literally non-stop this has been on my finger um and it has changed color on the bottom and i just don't like to wear it anymore i love diamond rings they don't have to be engagement rings for them to have diamonds um, a lot of people see this ring and they ask me if i'm engaged no i'm not engaged i just love rings with diamond and also engagement ring goes on this hand but anyway um i love rings with diamonds so what i did this morning i spent i would tell you guys about an hour hour and a half going through all my favorite jewelry stores and separating um rings that i like so i have not purchased any of them these are basically all the rings that caught my attention so let's go through them let me show you guys basically my mood boards of the rings that i feel like i want because i love rings we're gonna start with this one which is the adorn monday i hope i'm saying that correctly i really really like this and just overall i really really like how they stacked this like look how cute is this um they don't have all of the items but they have some of them like they have i think this one available i'll show it to you guys but just overall i really really like this ring it's so simple it's this one here it's so simple but at the same time i like the size of it it's statement and in case you care um they come in rose gold and silver as well but we all know gold jewelry girl and then the next one is this one that actually they don't have it in gold but how cute is this this is the gold stack of it but unfortunately the gold one is not available this is a great great set like it has all the ones that i really really like I really really love this one like this one as well and I just love how she wore it as well but unfortunately they don't have it in um what do you call it they don't have it in gold they only have it in silver so unfortunately that would be a pass I just want to show it to you guys then we have this that I absolutely love so it comes um you can buy them together they come separately they're pretty expensive but they're really really good quality i really really like this like look how nice is this styled i really really like this like the shape of this one obviously you don't have to buy them together you can buy them separately but i kind of really like the combination of the two here i really really like this one and then this is basically the other one that i just showed you guys but they have this one individually um the one that comes in a set this is very very similar to it i really really like this one as well the only thing is i don't like this because it gets stuck like i don't like rings that are adjustable because they get stuck either in my hair or in my clothing i don't know i just like prefer them to be closed but really really like this one as well oh this one is favorite one but i feel like this is going to be very uncomfortable because of the shape of it i don't know i have to wear it and see if i'm gonna like it or not 
uh, but I really like like look at it how cute is this obviously she stacked few of them on top of each other but I feel like this is going to be uncomfortable but it's such a beautiful and unique piece then we have this one that is very very obviously colorful but I feel like for summer like isn't it not a vibe look at this how cute is this I really really like this um, how much is this? Oh, it's pretty expensive. $254. It's a 14 karat gold plated sterling silver. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is pretty expensive for something colorful that I wouldn't probably use. So probably I'm going to pass up on this. Or maybe if I find something a little bit more affordable, I'll get that. Because I wouldn't wear this a lot. Probably like pool party or something. But how cute is this? Um, then let's go to the Amazon ones. Um, so these are obviously a little bit more affordable and um, a little bit more accessible, but obviously they don't have as much of a good quality as the other ones. So this one um, is this one basically, um, which is very, very cute, Cartier vibes, but I really, really like this one as well, which unfortunately they don't have. It's sold out. I looked everywhere, but I was not able to find uh, but this one is very, very cute. And then this one I love, love, love. I love the like statement ring of it. I love the statement white in the middle. It's so beautiful. They have, I think, the square version as well. Yeah, there we go. Personally, I really, really like this one. And then they have this, which again, very much obsessed with it. I love the irregular pattern of it. Such a beautiful ring and it's only nine bucks. So pretty. What is this one? Oh, it's like a single band, but I personally like this one a little bit more. So pretty. I love this one. Love, love, love it. Had it for years. Um, this brand overall, this Pavoy, um, is a really, really good brand. I had many, many pieces from them. I have earrings from them. They don't tarnish. It's just um, this ring specifically um, is big on me. So I, will, I put it in the box that I would pass along to friends and family. But I love, love, love this ring. As I mentioned, I had it for a long time and it did not tarnish. It's such a beautiful ring. So now let's move on to the uh, object jewelry. I hope I'm saying the name correctly. Here is the logo. I really, really like this ring. It's such a unique shape and it's like a diamond ring, but it is not like engagement looking. So this is one of the ones that I really, really like. And then also this one is something that I really, really like as well. It looks really, really chic on the finger. This is, again, a little bit of a more of an expensive brand, but it's not, like, too expensive. Um, and then I really, really like this one as well. You can find something very similar to this on Amazon, but these ones are sterling silver. So obviously they will last you a little bit longer. We are going to go to Icelink, and these are the ones that I saved from Icelink. I think I showed you guys these ones before as well, but let's just go over it. Love this one. Absolutely love, love, love this one. Love like the combination of these two together love this love 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 it this is something i would for sure will get not only in green i think i saved the uh, not this one we'll come back to that this one i'll get the white one as well it's just so chic and i love how she's wearing it here love that and then back to this i really really like this band as well i'll go for this combination in the white one and then just the individual uh green one here and then what else i have saved this is the last one how chic and cute is this i love it it's so statement it's so unique um it's big i just love everything about it i wouldn't wear this on my ring finger i would probably wear it on the same finger that she's wearing how beautiful is this i love that they have videos like it helps you um, see it a little bit better. I really really like this one as well. This is a 14 karat gold So obviously it's a little bit more expensive So I have to think about this, but I absolutely love 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 it It's such a unique ring, but I don't think I'll be comfortable wearing it like on a daily basis Obviously because the pin of it is pretty statement and I don't know how comfortable it would be They have a store nearby. Maybe I'll go into the store and try it on my finger. This was like a come online shopping with me for rings. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I have my eye on. I'm going to link all of this for you guys in the description box below. Again, I have not purchased any of these. 
um hopefully i'll make a decision by end of the day or like by tomorrow and then in upcoming videos i'll show you guys which one i ended up with i'm not gonna buy all of them obviously i just need maybe probably like four to five but i just want to show you guys the options that i'm thinking about i am getting really really hungry and i bought this um truffle risotto from world market that i haven't made yet so i just thought we can make this i read the cooking instructions and it seems pretty easy so i think i'm gonna make this because i'm starving i haven't had breakfast i went on my walk i did my workout um usually would make my uh, smoothie but this morning i didn't have appetite whatsoever maybe because i had a pretty heavy uh dinner last night but i'm getting really really hungry and it is lunch time so it's not the time for a smoothie it just will throw me off so i think i want to i will make this and i want something warm if you're being very honest today is such a freezing cold weather when i was on my walk i had to stand under the sun if not it was pretty much like freezing so i want something a little bit like warm a little bit of cozy vibe so i think i'm gonna make this i'll actually add mushroom to it as well because i personally love mushroom risotto so i think we'll do that so let's start cooking because i'm starving On the back of the jar it says add um, half a cup of water or dry, to wa dry white wine. I don't know if Sauvignon Blanc is considered because this is the only one white wine that we have. I don't know if Sauvignon Blanc is considered a dry wine so I have to google that. So let's see, dry types of wines are made from grapes, da -da -da. Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc and Champagne are a popular example of dry white wines. Perfect! So we're gonna mix in white wine with it. I feel like this is going to be a really really good uh, meal. I have a feeling about it. I absolutely love these measuring cups that I got from Anthropology. I'm gonna link it for you guys. They're so cute and chic. So we're gonna go with half off, half a cup of Sauvignon Blanc. Lovely. It smells phenomenal. Literally, it smells phenomenal. I just added the butter and I'm just gonna wait for it to melt and then I'm gonna pour it and add parmesan on top of it it smells absolutely divine it doesn't smell as much of truffle but it smells really really good i just didn't want to add i have truffles uh truffle oil and um what do you call it truffle powder i was gonna add to it but i didn't know how truffle this would be um so first try we're gonna go as is and then obviously for the next recipe i can adjust it to my liking i didn't add any salt or pepper so no spices basically we're gonna see how this is and then for the next time that i'm making i'll adjust it oh my god it's really really good it is not very truffly but obviously you can taste the truffle but it is really really good Mm. I feel like this is going to be my new favorite meal that I will make non-stop Because it's really that good. I don't know why am I acting like I invented this food But I'm just very proud of uh, a food that I created that is really really delicious because we all know I'm not the best chef um, in the kitchen mm. So good 